Hello. So this video we're actually going to set up WDS infrastructure mode. Uh, WDS is also known as SWAN. Uh, what we have today are two 1262 access points. On the left we have a 1262 that we're going to define as a WDS server and then on the right we have a WDS client. As of right now there's nothing on the, these APs in terms of configuration. Just basic BVI and Telnet access. So let's get started. On uh, the left hand side, our WDS server, we want to start by defining our AAA server commands. So, as you can see, we're in config uh, T mode. We we'll start out by actually enabling AAA. We, this is done via the AAA new model command. After that, we actually want to go ahead and then set up a group that we can authenticate against. Apologize about my uh, quick hands here. So we're we're gonna do uh, AAA group server radius, and then we actually give it a name. We're gonna call this uh, radius rad underscore eep. This is the same name and convention that would appear in your configuration if you actually went through the GUI of the AP. So after we hit that, that puts us in our radius configuration mode. We're then gonna define what radius server we want to use. Again, it could be any number of different radius servers, ACS, so on and so forth. But we're actually going to use the built-in radius server on this actual access point. So we're going to define the IP address of the radius server. In this case, it's itself. Okay, We could hit enter here and it would actually default to the Cisco standard, I guess, or Cisco authorization and accounting ports. But if we do a quick help there, we can see that Cisco defines their defaults as 1645 and 1646. These are not industry standards, so we actually want to go ahead and change them. So we're going to do that by changing the 1645 to 1812, and then the accounting from 1646 to 1813. So we went ahead and set up our server now. Now we're going to actually define um, how AAA should log in, what method actually should use. So we're going to exit back out of this, the global config mode, our authentication, login is going to be, we're going to give this and call it EEP method. Again, in line with the, the naming convention that Cisco would have set up in their iOS. And the group that we're going to be using is going to be that radius EEP that we defined in the previous step. Okay, so that sets up our global config or our global AAA commands. Now we're going to define a radius host that we're going to use. And again, since we're going to be using this AP, We'll set up that we want to point to this one again, verifying that the actual ports have been changed, and we're going to define a radius key to use. In this scenario, we're just going to use Cisco 123. So now we have our AAA command set up. We actually defined a radius server host. Now we actually have to go ahead and actually create the radius server on this actual AP. So the way that's done is radius server and then this is going to be the local radius server we have to issue the NAS device again we're going to say in what is allowed to use this as radius server so since it is a since we're going to be using the radius server on it the AP itself we have to define itself as a NAS device and again we're going to use that same key we just defined in the last step and then all we have to do on, on this is create a username um, for our WDS infrastructure. And we're going to do user WDS password Cisco123. So that's going to actually set up our radius and our AAA commands. Now, we don't necessarily have to uh, have this uh, WDS be a client for itself, but we'll set it up so that we can show that it's actually working. And so we'll get into the WDS commands. They all start WLCCP. Okay. We want to start out by actually creating 
priority 255 for WDS. This just means that this AP has the highest priority and will be the WDS server. We set that up on BVI interface one. Again, our layer three information or layer three interface. After that, we're going to or set this up to be the authentication server in infrastructure mode. So that's WLCCP authentication server infrastructure, and then we're going to go back all the way up in. We're going to say that we want it to match the EAP method that we defined under our AAA server. And we, I'll show you this under the show run here in a second. Okay, so that defines our WDS server as a, a highest priority and then set up for infra, infra, infrastructure mode. Lastly, if we want to make this AP part of the WLC, or WDS protocol, or client, I should say, we're actually going to set it up under WLCCP AP, we're going to say the username is again that WDS that we defined before, and our password again is the one we defined before under our radius server. Okay, so after we've we've done all that, we can go ahead and verify. Let me clear the screen here for us, and a quick verification would be show WLCCP WDS, which will actually show us that our AP is active right now on the BVI interface as a WDS server. AP account right now is currently one because it's of itself. And then if we do a show WLCCP AP, it'll show us that we're actually registered as WDS um, to itself right now. So we're going to want to see this same registration when we get over to the client here. So again, let's just go over the run and config here. If we uh, hear the AAA that we set up, we set up a radius server under our radius EAP. Um, that's the one that we're going to be currently using there. And we defined our EAP method to point to that, the radius underscore EAP. Skip the radios information here. Come down to our radius host. We defined ourselves as a radius host. Again, change the ports from 1812 to 1813 and set up our key. And then lastly, we set up our infrastructure mode and our username and password for WDS. So now we'll jump over to the AP over on the right here. We want to set this up as a client. If we start out with show WLCCP AP, we see that nothing is returned. It is not set up. So this one's going to be quite easier. We'll just enter config T mode. The only command that we're going to need is WLCCP AP username. Again, that WDS and password Cisco123. We hit enter. If we uh, had turn on or turn on run on, we'd probably see that it registered up. But there we go. We see that it uh, authenticated. So if we do show WLCCP AP, we see that it actually is registered to the WDS server. And that's all we have for you today. Thank you.